Do you remember I worked at a club? Oh, I didn't like to that one. I was really <laughs> worried. Oh my god. I worked at the door, and so I told people, <laughs> "You need to go home, <laughs> and you need to change <laughs> twice." <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Leonardo Nam, and this is my beautiful mother, Laura, or Kyunghee Nam. Uh, I also call her Umma. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you for coming all the way from Australia. Oh, thank you. Ah. Thank you for inviting me to this interview. Oh, great. So, uh, let me ask you the first question. Tell me something about you I don't know. I think you know everything <laughs> of me. Really? I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know yeah? about that. Where are and you then? from? Oh, I came from originally in South Korea, and um, I live uh, I live in Australia in Sydney. So, what were your parents like growing up? My father was very strict, mm. and then my mother was very loving and caring. I valued that discipline. Was there anything wild or rebellious that you did as a kid? Because I've uh, always known you as like. The good, the good <laughs> mom, That's you right. know, so what did you do? As I told you, my father very strict, and then curfew was 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. I sneak out <laughs> and uh, to watch a movie with my girlfriend. They, they didn't know. They didn't know? Yeah, yeah. You snuck out to watch yeah, movies? Yeah, yeah, watch movies and go to theater, and then so hanging around with them, and then they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that makes me feel better yeah. because, yeah, I definitely snuck out oh. <laughs> in high school. Oh, uh, that is, I didn't know that. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> snuck out. And I helped, well, you know, I'm the youngest of three, mm -hmm. Sandra, Martin, and then mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. uh, but I helped uh, Sandra and Martin sneak out. Oh, my God. <laughs> but we didn't do that. Bad of the things, I don't think. We mm. we went on lots of walks. I think ah, the thrill of yeah. sneaking out. That's why you you closer, you know, with your sibling. Yes. Yeah. You know, even to this day, mm. we go for walks. Oh, yes. What was it like to move from Korea to mm. Argentina? I was war baby in, and then born in 1951. That time is Korea rebuilding and then recovering and the very poor. I was married, arranged marriage with your father, and your father already went to uh, Argentina for better life. Never, I never had a date, you know, with your father. Oh, wow. You landed yeah. a week later, yeah. yes. got married. Yes. Wow. So the photos I've seen of you yes. and Appa, <laughs> Dad, when you're yes. married, yes. it was a week later after. Yes, wow. after I married. <laughs> and then a year later, you had Sandra. Yes. Yeah, and yes. then two years after that, Martin. Yes. And me. Yeah, living in foreign countries was not easy. I was very lonely. <laughs> I remember you told a story mm. that to call Korea, mm. to call your mother mm. and father, mm. you had to go into the city. Yeah, into the city and then to call international call. And then it was very expensive too. Yeah. Yeah. It was before email and before FaceTime. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> so what was it like to then after being in Argentina, to move to Australia, mm. was, that, was that easier? Was that harder? It was easier for me oh. because I already um, immigrated uh, once and then succeed yeah. as an immigrant. Yeah. And then so I set up business. Mm -hmm. So I know what it's like to move to another country and to want a better life. I just have so much respect for you to move from, oh. not only from Korea to Argentina, but then from Argentina to Australia mm. with three kids. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. But then, okay, so then you had already started a business in Argentina. Yes. You were doing wholesale and uh, retail. Fashion, and, retail. Yeah. and then in Australia. I had a uh, retail business. So it was called New World Fashions. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah. right, yes. Yeah, I really think of you as always a fashionable person. <laughs> yeah, even your glasses now and yeah. everything. You know, I remember I have, I have this one image of you, if I think about that mm -hmm. time. You used to have like shoulder pads. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so shoulder pads, you had this you know, like a power suit almost. And you always oh, had, my. you know, high, high heels. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You love yeah. those. Yes. yes. Yeah. And yeah. the red <laughs> lipstick and the perm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you describe me 
uh, oh, when I was yeah, a kid. Yeah. You were so cute and um, positive and creative and happy boy. Yeah, I remember and then uh, you liked to help people when you were kindergarten in Argentina and then I went to school to meet a teacher. And then teacher said, oh, Leo is great. And then she finished early, finished her, his work and then coming up to me and asked me and then can I help you anything else? And then it's, uh, I said, I'm amazed. Yeah. You know, do you remember when I shaved my head? Yes. I had a blonde hair. Yes. And then yeah. I had two tufts of red hair. Yeah. Like <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> and I would sit in church with yeah. these red horns. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe that oh. you didn't yeah, kick me out of the right. house. Well, you enjoyed it. Well, it? I, I think I enjoyed the rebellious part. Oh, right. I enjoyed right. getting a rise out of people. Oh. Was there anything I did growing up that scared you? Oh, yes. After <laughs> <laughs> so moving to America oh. at the age of 19 years old, no connection, and there's so no one pick up at the airport. Mm -hmm. You arrive in the New York airport in, and then night. That was really scary for me. Yeah, but you, you, you were very determined. Yeah, I was very <laughs> determined. Yeah. I said, and how you, what are you doing in New York, and then you said that you are in school mm. for drama, drama school. school. So what about and then so fee school fee? You said no, I already paid it. I was very determined to mm -hmm. pay mm -hmm. for my school fees. One day, and then so bank statement come to my home. Mm -hmm. I can see that over there your credit card is about the debt about the six hundred. So I said, I'm trying to go to bank and then try to pay. And bank said, no, pay. Bill already paid it. Ooh, oh, yeah. I didn't know it's that you tried to no, pay I, for I, my credit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I yeah. didn't know that. Oh, my. That really Good. moves my heart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that you supported me like that. Oh, I always I, thought I was on my own in New York. Mm. Um, yeah. And that, that's really... Mm. That's really lovely to hear. Thank you. So, uh, what was your first thought when I told you I was going to become a dad or an appa? Be honest with you, I concerned you because this world to raising a kid is a very difficult place. You also did say uh, congratulations. But when you just <laughs> said that you had a twin. And that's when I had said, twins, yes. Yeah, you said When they were then, born, yeah, yeah. that's what you said, yes. Yeah. I see how you are with my children now oh, right, and yeah. it, it warms my heart oh, right. in a way that I didn't know it was going to. Uh, I see you get down at their level and you yes. talk to them mm, mm, and you explain mm. to them. Yes, and then they listen. You, you can see their face expression. Don't underestimate estimate yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I see that. Yes. Yeah, I'm learning. Yeah. When you think about your life, is there a moment that is defining for you mm. as to who you are. I have a child and then so your sister changing my life. When I had her, I don't suddenly I don't feel lonely. And then in the world and then I have a so fulfilled I realize that mother's role is very important mm. for child. You know, I, I for me mm. I've gotta say becoming a father. Mm. Oh it comes it's so it's so important for me. Yes. And I didn't yeah. know uh, yeah. that it would mm, be mm, mm. like that. Yeah. I feel so plugged into the world because Good, of that. Good, great, great. Uh, I, I'm very grateful you had feeling that one. Yes. So, so you are good father, good dad. <laughs> yes. Surprise me too. Because <laughs> then you are, yeah, you are busy. So busy, but you, you're so devoted to raising your kids and then you give time to, you know, the boy, make a time and so it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to show you some a surprise. Okay. And this was a special. This is, yeah. <laughs> First, uh, you, wow. you, you were in movie. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> invitation and the premiere invitation. It's called The Perfect Score. The SAT is hard to take. It's even harder to steal. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Chris Evans, yeah. Brian Greenberg, mm. Erica Christensen, 
Darius Miles, Scarlett Johansson, and mm. me. Mm. I was in the car actually. Mm. Uh, it was Scarlett, yeah, limousine, limousine car. Yeah. It was, it was Scarlett, Chris, and yeah. I can't remember who else was in the car. We we're going somewhere, mm. and I was on the phone with you, and uh, I was explaining that I was in this movie, and you were like, oh, "Okay, okay, so are you like an extra?" <laughs> That's right. So, I'm in the car yeah. with them. They were like, yeah. "What do you? She thinks you're an extra." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for keeping this. This means a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Oma. Oh. So uh, we're going to be making walam sam. It's a Korean, Vietnamese, Australian dish. So we're going to play a little game. Yeah. Right. Okay. What was my most favorite or cherished toy? I think Lego. Yes. What chore did I dislike the most? Probably cleaning your bedroom. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and then making my bed. Yeah, I said that. I would hate that. Oh, what is my favorite movie? Well, Splendor in the Grass. Oh my! Yes, see, yes. I understand. Yes, well done, right. high five. Good. All right, okay. yeah. What is my favorite food? Kimchi. <laughs> what? 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 The walam sam. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh. I'm so glad we're doing this then. <laughs> what is my least favorite food? Dairy. Anything but dairy. Oh no. Now sword fish. Sword. How am I supposed to know that? Fish? Sword fish. Yeah. <laughs> Where I would like to travel, I never have been. Egypt. No. 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 Where? South Africa. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, let's go to South Africa. Oh! Let's go to South Africa oh. next! <laughs> All right. <laughs>